Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about engineering, mechanical engineering and the subsea engineering. You guys must be wondering where we are today. So let me tell you guys, we are in Scotland at South Queen's Ferry today. If you can see the bridge behind me, it's called the Fort Bridge and this is the over 50 years old bridge. If you can see there, uh, if you can see some lights there, so that's basically something related to the oil and we will talk about that's right that is something related to the oil and that's what is the topic for today so we are going to talk about gas and oil industry how this engineering works to produce oil from the seabed and what are the technologies and qualification you would require if you like to get into oil and gas industry today we will talk to stanley uh, who is a mechanical engineer and a subsea engineer and a good friend of mine so let me introduce you guys with stanley today stanley uh, can you just uh, tell us a little bit about your journey how you start from india what you did in india how you end up into scotland and how you get into the gas and oil industry uh, sure um, so i'm a mechanical engineer uh, finished my bachelor bit in uh, kerala and after that I worked in Bangalore and uh, uh, and then I moved to UAE, Dubai. Uh, I worked in oil and gas manufacturing company. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so that's where I got an inspiration to uh, do a master's in subsea engineering. How long you did you work in Dubai? I worked in two years there. And how was it? It was a good experience. And that's where you get inspired to get into oil and gas, yeah? Yes. Okay, brilliant, yeah. So, because they are working in oil and gas, I was, uh, I know the potential of the oil and gas businesses mm -hmm. and uh, what, how the financially and how career perspective they are is a global uh, job opportunities. Mm -hmm. So, when I was looking at subsea engineering, subsea is basically about uh, uh, oil fuel equipments kept under the seabed to get the oil and gas from the oceans. No, okay. in the sea in the sea but there is a large uh, reservoirs of oil and gas there so while i was working in dubai i was looking for the uh, universities which provide the subsea engineering uh, and then I, f I was looking globally where i was looking in the different countries like U us or uk australia those are the countries they provide the uh, subsea engineering courses okay um, so why, uh, why you choose the uk to come over here for your studies good question because they UK, what I found is uh, when I was comparing that, uh, UK have a, a lot of offshore experience universities. They have doing that offshore uh, oil and gas uh, courses for uh, some a long time. What is uh, offshore? Offshore is basically any oil and gas produced in the ocean seas. Is that called offshore? Yes, that's, uh, that's offshore. So, so they produce oil in the in the out, in the sea. Uh, and they get all the pump oil and gas pumped into the into big ships like they call FPSO and, and other vessels mm -hmm. and they bring that one into the near to the land where they pump all the gas into the pump uh, stations a big okay. uh, storages uh, how did you find your uni in uh, in Scotland it's uh, it's very good. It was was very good experience for me. I was doing in the uh, University of Strathclyde uh, in, my, in my master. They provide a lot of uh, uh, preparations, documentation before you start the university. So well, I was doing the masters there. I, I got an opportunity to work uh, work with the some of the industries. In oh, the, okay. Is that the internship or your training part of your training? It's uh, it's like we got an opportunity to pres do a presentations in a, in a group of companies. Okay. So mm -hmm. you get an opportunity to network with these uh, you know uh, industry people there. Sure. Uh. So they 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 are quite top companies. They work with these universities work with. Mm -hmm. So you you get an exposure to to get a network with these uh, real-time engineers who work in their companies. Also, a lot of experts come from there in the mm. industries to mm. provide lectures to us, uh, which is quite uh, interactive. So you get an opportunity to speak to them. You can uh, ask questions. You get, is, they are quite open to listening and they will, they will sometimes if you get an interested that in the topic they will uh, ask you to come for more discussions to the company so it's quite open and they always in, encourage new students to uh, you know engage with the industry industries okay well, what's the main reason for you to 
choose UK as your uh, you know destination for your higher studies over like America, Canada, and Australia? UK universities, uh, for especially for subsea engineering, uh, uh, they are quite work very close to industry, and uh, they have a very good track record of the the is running this this courses. Uh, okay. So they they. They have uh, related courses, basically marine related, offshore oil and gas related. So they all linked. So they make uh, make uh, use the use of their uh, knowledge from their professors and the industry people. Mm -hmm. So which is very uh, advantageous for uh, students. Correct. And if anyone would like to do subsea engineering now, what is the uh, prerequisite? Is there, is there any prior qualification he needs to have? Any like a particular subjects or something? They ask for a bachelor's in, uh, in engineering, mainly in mechanical engineering, civil engineering, mm -hmm. or uh, marine engineering. <coughs> um, but if they don't have it, they uh, they get an exemption if they have work in uh, related fields. Once you complete your study, and then you, what was your uh, way forward from there? So mainly, like I was, uh, it's a one-year course. Uh, I was doing it in uh, UNESCO Strathclyde. And after the course, um, just before finishing, I, I, I was looking for a, applying for a uh, jobs. Mm. A lot of graduate scopes uh, jobs was open, uh, and also an experience jobs because I have was working before. I was applying for both of them. Okay. Uh, so the universities also actually provide a, uh, a lot of career guidance. Uh, basically, apply how do you apply, how do you prepare your CV, etc. Okay. So they do have a sessions there. They, so that helped me as well to uh, change the my CV what I use in in uh, other places before to suit the UK based uh, company. Before I finished my course itself, I got an opportunity to uh, in, work with a sub top of the top subsea company here. Mm -hmm. So I got that, uh, I accepted that one. I start right after my course uh, and I worked there uh, for, I was on a tire for student visa. Then okay. I, I mm -hmm. was changed to tire for by PSW. Oh yeah, yeah okay. So you complete your one year course, your one year master, and then you switch to PSW. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you have to pay any fees for that? What's the process? So you get the new BRP card for that? Yes, uh, you need to apply an uh, application for that. Uh, it's quite a quite an easy, easy and straightforward process. Yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of documentation there, but it's quite straightforward do documentation. And how how difficult was it for you to? Uh, to hit the market, you know, once you get into the market, how easy for you to get the job based on your qualification here? I think we need to prepare for it. Like, you know, those uh, universities provide this, a lot of career guidance, mm -hmm. which is we need to use, make use of it. Okay. And uh, it helps to understand like the, how do we, you know, pitch your, you know, your CVs here. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, yeah. And uh, you, you probably need to do a good network, which helps to understand the where is the career options coming up? If it is a first time work job, then we are looking on graduate schemes. And a lot of supply chains related to these uh, North Sea are based on United UK. Stanley ka hath Hindi mein thoda tight hai because he's from Kerala where I think he only speak his native language or the English language. But we'll try his Hindi skills as well. Um, Stanley, ab yeh batao ki jo uh, gas and oil industry hai, इसमें सिर्फ सबसी इंजीनियरिंग को छोड़ के और और कौन सी ऑप्शंस हैं कि अगर किसी बंदे ने गैस एंड ऑयल इंडस्ट्री में काम करना हो दैट्स योर टेस्ट ओके गिव इट अ ट्राई मैकेनिकल भी बहुत सारी अपॉर्चुनिटीज है इधर लेकिन मैकेनिकल सिविल ऑफशोर क्योंकि ये इधर ऑफशोर कोई बिग बिग बिजनेस है इधर स्पेशली नॉर्थ सी में ऐसा लग रहा है कोई बंदा दुबई से आ गया शेख जैसे बात कर रहा है ठीक है ठीक है ओके कैरी ऑन मैन वी नीड सम लाइक हिंदी स्टफ एज वेल ओके सो नीड हैज टू बी ब्लेंडेड गाइस कैरी ऑन इंग्लिश या या व्हाट एवर यू लाइक सो व्हाट वाज योर क्वेश्चन सो माय क्वेश्चन वाज अपार्ट फ्रॉम योर सब सी इंजीनियरिंग व्हाट आर द अदर क्वालिफिकेशन कैन बी कंसीडर्ड इफ समबडी वुड लाइक टू कम इनटू ऑयल एंड गैस इंडस्ट्री ओके um, uh, there is so many electronics, electrical uh, and mechanical, civil 
civil is quite a big uh, industry uh, because if we go talking about the uh, offshore mm -hmm. they need a lot of uh, constructions uh, okay. mm -hmm. and uh, they also have uh, uh, have quite a lot of uh, electrical um, electronics based equipments they use it so they also do have a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. um, not only that they nowadays they are all using a lot of uh, uh, computer uh, in uh, in computer computational equipments okay so mm -hmm. a lot of uh, computer science students also getting opportunities work okay. with the in the in the industries uh, for the offshore industries mm -hmm. because a lot of they're trying to keep as uh, safety is a very important factors in this one yeah, so yeah. they're trying to keep away people from the high risk areas which is one is a rig uh, where they produce oil yeah. because they are uh, producing a highly inflammable inflammable uh, products there yeah, yeah. So they try to keep a, mo a minimum people in that rigs, and they try to do a lot of things uh, remotely. remotely. Yeah, yeah, of course. So they yeah. control from a lot of things from the uh, land mm. uh, with the remote equipments. Um, so a lot of opportunities they are building now, and they and they are they are still developments. So there is a lot of opportunity still there. Yeah. So there's opportunity for almost like every skill: say civil engineering, mechanical, IT, uh, and you know. And, and the guys, the gas and oil is very big market, uh, not only in UK, but America, Canada, even in Australia. So even myself, as I said, I work in this industry for like about six sweet years. And then I think I work in IT and then it was a huge setup they have. And they travel like all around the world when I was working in a gas and oil industry because it's a global industry. It's a global market. You'll have to travel across the different offices. Um, Stanley. I heard from you previously uh, that you get your first job from your even before you completed your course. Yeah, it's um, was quite a lucky to be frank. <laughs> mm -hmm. There is um, was uh, when I was looking for the the job, uh, I was preparing a lot of graduate scope uh, jobs at the time. Mm -hmm. I got an opportunity to work as a contractor first. So I was not sure actually how does contracting a permanent jobs work here. Okay. So mm -hmm. I had to find first and uh, um, they actually uh, was looking for a contractor at the time, the starting. Mm -hmm. So I said like, okay, I'm ready for that. Uh, and they were, they accepted the offers. Um, so that helped me to start the company, to join the company. After so you, one you year, started as a contractor with yes. the company, yeah? Mm -hmm. So after one year, they, they, they go, gave me a permanent position. Yeah, which, yes. Permanent role. Okay, excellent. Okay. And since then you have been working with the company for a long year? Yeah. Okay. Stanley, you were on tier, two, tier 4 student visa. Once you completed your course, you switched to post-study work visa. And on post-study work visa, you crack your first job as a contractor. And then you become a permanent for the same company. And how did you progress from there in terms of like your visa and the settlement? Right. So uh, I was uh, I was working and I was got the job. I so two years I worked on the post study uh, post study work visa. Yeah. And um, I uh, I applied for the tier two visa straight after uh, fin before finishing in two year PSW. Oh, okay. Okay. So after two after post study work visa, you applied for tier two. Yes. So but the company has to sponsor you for that. Did yes. you get the sponsorship? Yes. The company gave the sponsorship for okay. me. Okay. Okay. Uh, they they know the the, the the how the sponsorship system works. This is because uh, most of the global companies are quite aware of this and they provide these <coughs> sponsorships quite easily. But was it difficult for you to ask them for a sponsorship or, or they came forward and they say, okay, Stanley, we will gonna, we're going to offer you sponsorship like that? I have to initiate the discussions, okay. but they, they are quite open to do that uh, because they are a global company. They know that the requirements, uh, they okay. use their consultancy. Very, very good point. Guys, see, I'll tell you in Hindi once again. Stanley has joined a post-study work visa pay company. He knows that the company has a skill and we need this person. And he can be a very good, valuable asset. So the company has offered Stanley an upfront sponsorship. And Stanley has converted to that sponsorship to tier 2. So if you come to today's date, if you come to do something here, you have to get a post-study work visa. आपको पूरे दो साल मिलते हैं अपनी जॉब ढूंढने के लिए उसके बीच में अगर आपने आपको प्रूफ कर दिया किसी भी कंपनी में तो आपको इजीली स्पॉन्सरशिप मिल जाएगी प्रोसेस आपको पता है जनवरी 2021 से और भी इजी हो रहा है स्टैनली यू यू स्टार्टेड योर करियर इन यूके एज अ स्टूडेंट एंड यू स्टेड इन ग्लासगो फॉर फ्यू ईयर्स 
how was your student life here and was it too much struggle? Just tell us a little bit about your student life. So, uh, well, when I came here, I was, uh, I know, uh, I met some new friends here. I managed to get like a, a, a good network, which helped me to get a, a part-time jobs. Okay. Um, so, uh, universities help as well. They, they used to have a, uh, have a sales there to help international students to get uh, part-time jobs. Okay. So, um, quite, it was really ha handy to have a part-time jobs. And what did balance. you do in the part-time job? I was working in a restaurant and a bar. Okay, um, restaurant so, and bar. Yeah. So you must know how to make a cocktail and mocktail oh, and all that stuff, yeah? Well, I was not in that to the <laughs> making <laughs> process. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, so you work in a restaurant and bar uh, yeah. as a part-time, yeah? Yes. And were you able to pay your fees just while working for 20 hours? Yeah, um, um, luckily, because I was working before, uh, before I came here, I was managed to pay the tuition fees. Okay. So um, then the part-time jobs give me money, you know, in a spent for the yeah, accommodation, stay. the re, uh, real expenses, yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. uh, even for like ex traveling. It's a beautiful place, and you get an opportunity okay. here to come. Uh, we will initially first year we will explore so many places traveling. Sure, yeah. So you get extra money as a part-time. You can easily do that. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about how much. much how much was your investment on your career? <laughs> It was like the tuition fees was nearly 20,000 pounds. 20,000 pounds? 20,000 pounds is really too much, I think. Was it really yeah, worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. It definitely worth it. Um, you know, you have to look the futuristic part of the... 20,000 pounds for a year, yeah? Yes, it's for okay, a year. Yeah. I think it's quite unique field as well. So you learn so many things which people never even think of, yeah? Yes. And it's it's not like a theory here. Like we know, we in, we get an uh, exposure to the industries as well, and so you learning different. And I I would say like we're diff learning differently what you compare to do way learning Other, in India. Sure, yeah. Um, mm. So uh, it's an experience. Yeah, yeah, of course. Definitely, I'm very happy with my decisions. Are uh, what I did last time, on to ten years back. If somebody would like to come now, what would you suggest? Um, they they need to be make sure that they choose the right course mm -hmm. and uh, do the enough research on it. Sure. Um, and also, once uh, this uh, course is chosen, uh, find the right un universities. Um, I think the fees is very good big factor, but I I think that is uh, will be worth it if you compared to like the knowledge and experience you're going to get it yeah. from the guys agar aapki fees zyada hai iska matlab ye nahi hai bahut mehanga hai every single penny very well worth it stanley ne as a student start kiya then he switched to post study work visa then he got the sponsorship and now he's a better citizen so you see his journey is very motivated you know and it, it's only depend because if you have a dedication and if you can spend time, have a passion and destiny, you know, about your career and about where you'd like to study, guys. I think international study is definitely make a difference in your life. But you have to choose the right course for yourself based on your previous qualification. And if you like to choose something new, you need to think about if you have a caliber to do that as and well. you're ready to do all your hard work and you can put your heart and mind into it just give it a try guys for any questions or immediate response guys follow us on instagram if you have any questions for stanley i will leave his instagram in the description below so feel free to contact him and i hope he will be happy to sure. help as well that's all for today guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye